Previously on Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Oh! Cool people don't look at explosions. And cut. Perfect. What a take. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh my god, he's dead. And now back to kicking monkey ass. Hello! Sneaky B. Back with some more Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. We last left off, we started on episode P3, and Labrys and uh, Ken and Yukari have joined up to go save Mitsuru and her little band of minions. <laughs> I had to stop right in the middle of the last one because it was like, God dang, I was like, when's the 2B continue coming? <laughs> anyway, we just leaped out of the helicopter. When? When I look back up to the red sky after landing, I see the helicopter getting altitude while maintaining its balance. Like Sakakuna sounds de desperate resolve in her piloting skills, we managed to safely reach Inaba. I check my surroundings once more while praying for Kakuna-san safely. Oh, by the way, you guys told me, uh, the thing about having, uh, I don't know how, Kakuna-san saying, she said a tendency towards the Dark Hour, an affinity with the Dark Hour or something, but she meant that she can not, she doesn't go in a coffin during the Dark, dark Hour, um, like everybody else, um, but she doesn't have a persona, so, like, like Shuji Akusuke, I forgot, I, I forgot, I, I completely forgot that he, didn't that he was awake during the dark hour, but didn't have a persona. I, I completely forgot about that. So that's what that meant. So thanks for thanks for clearing that uh, for uh, clearing that up with me. This is the Inaba branch of Junez, that department store chain. We're at the food court on its rooftop. Normally there would be plenty of people here, but it's clearly been abandoned. Where did he go? <laughs> oh, I don't like him. He sucks. <laughs> then Suji just shows up with cookies. And he's like, Oh no, I love you. <laughs> Ken Kun raises his spear and tries to appear into the fog. Visibility, making visibility such, such a problem. I look around, ready for battle as well. Whoever attacked us should be nearby. Hey, Ken Kun, did you really see Ikutsuki here a moment ago? Yes. I didn't see him clearly, but there's no way I could have mistaken him. <laughs> him and his crazy face. Oh, also, you guys told me apparently the, uh, uh, those lines that Shuji had said before, um, were actually just the lines taken dr directly from... Persona 3. They weren't actually like re it's not like he the the actor came in and said new lines or just old lines recycled again. Because apparently he's actually he's also the same voice actor that did uh Igor. Um so he didn't come come back for this game. Uh so kinda interesting. I'm I'm a little surprised they didn't just do that for Igor then. But I, I well I guess he I guess Igor had a few new lines when he was talking with the when he was talking with Show. I don't know. I mean, I, th I think that they did that for Persona 4 Arena, didn't they? Like, just sort of recycled his old lines, from from what I could tell, because he only showed for like two seconds. That's impossible. I mean, Shuji Ikutsuki is. He did. That's right. Shuji Ikutsuki died three years ago. Oh, and also, also, the, sorry. Last thing. Uh, you guys said, like. Mitsuru and Akihiko should be like 20 or something, and Yukari and Junpei are like 19. Um, so, I mean, still though, that's not that old. I mean, I mean that that's kind of what I thought, but like, it's, they keep acting like they're like, oh god, I'm an old man. If, if Junpei's really 19, he's just like, oh god, you youngins, oh, three years younger than me, oh my god, <laughs> you have so much youthfulness. <laughs> it's like, good god. Japanese people like is that really how you see 20 year olds it's like well now you're, you're old as fuck now you're useless <laughs> I, I don't know I, I just thought it was kind of weird uh, and we we're just stuck by persona according to the records from that time Kiski had no persona at the very least it looks like he's not nearby we can't let our guard down yet though she's right I scan the area and I read no one else here besides the four of us I say as much and we lower our weapons in order to discuss Pearl our strategy Mario and I are going to continue looking for him if that really was Ikutsuki there's no doubt that he's involved in this case. Are we gonna split up? Let's split up, gang. That's true. Can you and Koro-chan go after that guy from earlier? But that person seemed to be using a persona. Won't it be dangerous for you two going off on your own? The two humans, the two humans look surprised for a moment and Trey glances dice. Don't like, you God. worry about me and Koromaru. Even if we run into something we can't defeat, we'll find a way out of it. And honestly, it's faster for us to split up. I am a bit worried, but I'm gonna believe in you guys. You've, they have absolute faith in each other after after having fought it together for so long. It's not that they don't have concerns about one another, but they truly believe they will accomplish their goals on their own. I wonder, will these people ever feel the same way about me? After all this time, I feel, I realize how the time shared between Yukari and Ken Kun separates me from my companions. So I'll head to the station to get Junpei. It didn't seem like he'd figured out the situation yet. Huh? 
Weren't you talking to him on the phone earlier? I was, but that idiot's phone ran out of batteries or something while we were still talking. But even if I can't rely on him to keep his phone charged, he's still good in a fight. So I have to meet up with him. What did you base falls of? Red fog, Ikari. Uh, I see. He seems like kind of a goofball. <laughs> well, yeah. Right? He's always been so useless. <laughs> huh? Did I say something funny? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> useless. <laughs> nah, not really. It just sounded like you were actually kind of fond of him. Oh, <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, I think you're right. These people trust each other and they're always thinking of one another. One of them, one of them faces danger. They always, the others always rush to the help them. A term comes to mind: ideal companions. What are you and his friends are doing? I have the feeling that this group of Masuru-san's group are going to, through similar problems. What about all. you, Labrus? What'll you do? Huh? I hope Mitsuru-san and the others are okay. Could you please go right to that tower? We'll head over there too as soon as we can. Car son, I can't even look to me. Uh, it doesn't matter to them that I haven't known them for very long. They seem they see me as a companion right. and trust me. It's decided then. Labrus, you head to that tower. Oh, also, hmm? something felt off when I summoned my persona earlier. You might want to be careful. You felt it too? It was like, well, it felt like the evoker wasn't working, didn't it? Yeah, it might be that we can summon our personas without our evokers. <laughs> it's kind of strange. I, I thought I remembered in the Persona 4 Arena story when I was playing as Akihiko that he said that he had, like, like he didn't see it as odd that he could do that. He just said, like, oh, I've, fortunately, I've mastered summoning my persona without using the evoker, but I still hold the evoker with me just to, for old time's sake. But now they're, these guys are acting like, instead, that, oh, this is totally new and different and I, I don't know like I, I'm assuming it's because of the red fog or is it just they've gotten stronger and they they're realizing they've got some new power you know I'm not sure in any case we should get moving if what General Teddy said is true we don't have much time to spare I should think about could they could they in Persona 3 could could they they actually could summon the personas in the real world couldn't they or could they or maybe they had to wait for the dark hour too I, I don't remember mm-hmm Got it. If anything happens, let's meet at the bottom of the tower. Be careful, both of you. Yeah. Well. Let's go, Fluffy. Carson and I leave Kenku to the roof and head for the stairs. She and I split up not long after. All of us firmly believing that we'll see each other soon. Wait for us, Mitsuru-san. Let's do it. Run at full speed and turn my eyes towards the looming tower. I will rescue her. You know, if she's got rockets and shit, can't she just, like, fly? Stop! Stop asking questions. <laughs> Ah, f <laughs> that was that close to the end, really? Ah, balls. <laughs> I probably could have finished that last episode. Ah, whatever. It just went on for so long. I don't really like going over an hour on these series, and it was like... Lately, these last few episodes have been like an hour, like almost an hour 30 minutes. That's just like, that's just too long, you know? Like, I don't mind going over a little over an hour, but it's like... Just that long, that's just too much. Uh, I I'm trying to shoot for an hour, but... Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't work out, so. Maybe I should just, maybe I should just start cutting off when I hit an hour instead of waiting to, for them to be continued. Anyway, Junpei's dream! Junpei, what are you doing? He's probably dicking around. Can we get a cutscene? Oh, we do! The time you've all been waiting for. It's obvious who the game's MVP will be. The man whose Grand Slam won it in the ninth, Junpei Iori! Yeah! <laughs> First off, I'd like to congratulate your team on winning the WBC. Oh, thank you very much. What was going through your mind as you entered that batter's box for that last at bat? My only thought was how I would lead my team to victory. Ah, so it's your great focus that led to this result. Oh, he's left-handed. That was an amazing home run. All I can say is I got lucky with that hit. That swing at the critical moment, I got so excited I almost forgot to give the play by play! The ball went a lot farther than I thought it would. I'm very pleased with the result. Ah. Wow! You're so modest! No wonder they call you the ace slugger, Junpei! By the way, is, is there anyone this? you'd like to dedicate this victory to? Cars on! <laughs> I'd like to dedicate that Grand Slam to my precious girl who's always supported me through thick and thin. I know that I can be a burden on you. I'm not the greatest, but... <laughs> Will you marry me? Yasuo <laughs> Inaba. 
So, you know. Uh, sorry, sir, but this is the end of the line. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, oh. I was dreaming. <laughs> oh, Chino? Who's that? Oh, 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 pff, of course. The, the, I'm sorry, the red-haired girl from the third game. Oh, God, everyone's about to rip their faces off and kill me. <laughs> did you really play that game? I did play it. I swear to God. I, God, there's a lot of things I've forgotten about it. I'm surprised at how much I've, I don't remember. Like, Jesus. It's only been, like, a year and a half, maybe, since I played Persona 3. I think maybe it's because Persona 4 sort of, like, overlapped it now, and I'm, I'm kind of getting confused. But, yeah, she, 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 Shidori, that's her name, right? But she, didn't she die, though? I mean, that was a dream, but I can't remember. She, didn't she die? I, I thought all of the ones that were, uh, yeah, I think she did. All of the, uh, characters from the, the ah, fucking, I'm never gonna remember the name of that fucking group they were part of. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, Strega! Yes! Yes, I did it, I remembered. I did it, guys! Aren't you proud of me? Strega. I think all of them died, I think. Um, uh, thanks so much for waking me up right at the best part. I saw the train in an unfamiliar station in the countryside with a little resentment towards the station worker. Let's see here. Man, it's a tough name to make out. How am I supposed to pronounce that? Oh, it's written out beneath the country. Oh, it's Yasuo Ina, but wait. Where is this? Huh. Let's see what the shuttle train schedule is. Check the train schedule and feel myself slipping into despair. Seriously, there aren't any more trains leaving the station? That was the final train for the night? I've really done it now. <laughs> what are the odds that he would end up sh ending, end up at the, the place where he needs to be? The great feeling that I only had a moment ago withers away at once. What the hell, man? Why did this happen? Let's see, I worked, a, I worked a full shift in my job today and the kids... And the kids had a game after that. Oh, he's a coach, isn't he? Yeah. If you get a hit, you'll be a hero. Are you gonna try for a home run? It's the afternoon before a long holiday weekend. Normally I'd be busy with my part-time job and top secret missions, but on days off I transform into an excellent coach for a boys baseball team. This is our first mission in a while, so I wanna make sure these kids the, these kids win somehow. The game's coming to an end and we're one run away from tying up the score. Talking with Goro, our cleanup hitter, who's getting too much of a swelled head over his position to actually focus on the game. If he could get it in a clean hit, he'll never be able to do it like this. Of course I am. You made me the cleanup hitter after all. I'm making this a home run, no matter what. Watch your mouth, kid, or you'll <laughs> scare the ball away. Now listen up. Don't try to act cool. Just play like you normally would. The team's counting on you. <laughs> Goro stops boasting and turns toward the bench. The kids are cheering Goro on, Goro on at the top of Goro, their lungs. Keep your eye on the ball. You can hit it. The pitcher's totally freaked out. <laughs> See, a hero doesn't just hit homers all the time. Even if you mess up, there's guys behind you waiting to help. Now loosen up and do your best. Don't fuck up. Gotcha. Goro's face loses, loses the gruff facade he had been wearing and he begins to focus. There we go, that's how Thanks, it should be. Thanks, Junpei. Hey, you're supposed to call me coach, you screwball. Make sure you stay loose. Fish off by giving a bit of a heart smack on, Go on Goro's boat, the bat before sending him off into the batter's box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Goro keeps his eyes on the ball and lands a direct hit, sending the ball flying out of the out outer field. All right, we're tied. Goro's staying on the second base with a huge grin, waving to us. But we end up losing in the end, and all the kids cried. I cried too, of course! <laughs> oh god! Oh, you fucked us up, Goro! Damn it, Goro! I will never forgive you for this! You fucking suck! I hate all of you! That well, can't be helped. I did help these kids strengthen their bond together, so I should just leave well enough alone. That was so close, guys. You almost won! Alright, let's start practicing again tomorrow. Now, I want you all to remember this at least. If you all work together, you'll never be beat. Okay, we're done for today. After the game, I said some foul words to their coach. If y'all work together, you'll never be beat. <laughs> Although, I think I'm supposed to say beaten, but... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Don't interrupt my emotional speech. And that... And that was that. Man, even I think that's an awesome speech. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Thinking back on it now, I'm honestly proud I came up with it. <laughs> that one line. I bet these kids are still carrying that moment around their heads. Ah, man, coach is such yeah, a loser. I'm such an awesome coach. <laughs> It's really worthwhile volunteering for a kid's team, even after working the night shift. <laughs> I wonder if he'll say where he, where he works tonight, like, normally. Because I'm still under, just still underage, I'm 
Not an official member of the Mr. Shadow, Shadow Operatives, but I've been playing a very active part in some of their investigations. Wait, still under age? Meaning under... under 21? Or something? I mean, he's 19, right? I would have thought... Uh, isn't he? Ah! This game keeps confusing me with the ages. It's like, I mean, I would have figured 18 is probably, you know, hitting adulthood. I would, I would have thought. <laughs> and then 21, you're an old man. <laughs> Enjoy those three years, shit stain. I get sent out from time to time to check some on scenes where low-level shadow readings have been detected. Yeah, the missions are pretty plain, but I'm satisfied with them in my own way. But again, when, where do, when do I get when do I get sent out? Most of the time, when I do get sent out, most of the time it's nothing at all. But just like I told the kids, it's about putting out a consistent effort every day. That goes for anything. It's not like I get these missions every day. So in the, mean, in the meantime, I spend a lot of time at my part-time jobs. Even though I always get multiple jobs. Even though it's kids' baseball, renting fields and paying for rides to Away, away games is surprisingly expensive. I gave up on that dream, but I love teaching baseball to kids. It's really Man, fun. it's like I'm finally starting to enjoy my youth after all this time. Oh, crap. I'm starting to feel sleepy. And that leads to where I am right now. <laughs> Not only did I completely miss my stop, but I can't even get back home. A tight squeeze How did here. I just fall asleep like that? I can't believe I slept through so many stops either. Seriously. <laughs> so I'd leave the station for the time being. There's some basic vending machines outside and nothing else. It's actually kind of impressive. Crap, this is real bad. If something doesn't happen soon, looks like I'm gonna end up sleeping outside. What the heck am I gonna do now? I guess I better call somebody and hope. I'll pull up my phone to call up anyone I can think of so I can get a ride out of here, but surprise, it's not on. I'm afraid the battery didn't die while I was on the train. Hold the power button. And it turns on! No, the battery! The battery's in the red. I might not be able to make a single call at this point. Things things never turn out well when they're this bad, but suddenly my ringtone echoes out of this empty, in this empty place. Oh. Hello? Finally! Hey, Junpei, what were you doing? I've been calling you this whole time! N it's Yukatan. How long have I been... How, how long has she been trying to call me? Maybe she got dumped by her boyfriend and needs a shoulder to cry on or something. <laughs> what? Wait, does she even have a boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, Junpei wishes. She sounds really pissed for some reason, but... Eh, she's almost always like this anyway, after all. The most important thing right now is she's charging this phone. Oh, hey, Yukatan. Uh, can we uh, not talk about that now? My battery's about to die. Hey, uh, what's that noise in the background? It's super loud. Ah, uh, your phone's about to die? What's wrong with you? Mitsuru Senpai, Akihiko, Fuka, and Igis have gone missing. We're in a helicopter to find them. Well, they're missing? A, a helicopter? We've looked in tons of places for them, but we can't find them. Anyway, where are you right now, Jupei? Hold on a second, this doesn't make any sense at all. Mitsuru Senpai and the others went missing, and now Yucatan's in a helicopter trying to find them? This is too much information all at once. Ah, it's gonna explode! Turn around and check the name of the station um, again. Somewhere called Yasso, you know, something? I fell asleep on the train and missed my stop, and now I'm stuck out in the boonies. <laughs> You're at Yasso Inaba Station? Why? Huh? Why aren't you so surprised? I don't even know why I'm here! <laughs> Okay, it's fine. Okay, fine. It's because I slipped through my stuff. Uh, Yucatan, the battery's going. Uh, fine, just wait there. We'll come get you. I'm with Kenkun and Korotan, and we've got Lavarus here, too. She's Igus' sister. Huh? What was that? L La who? Well, whatever. I I'll just find a convenience store and... Uh... Oh, his phone did actually die. The phone died. I consider what I should do now, but then again, I'm worried about Mr. Senpai, too. I'll just have to buy a cheap charger at a gas station or something and call Yucatan back. Maybe out in the boonies, but there's going. There's got to be a convenience store open around here. Start walking around the road in search of an open store. After walking for some time, I finally see a familiar light sign out in the distance. Mayo Mart. Nice, just what I wanted. I'm starving too, so maybe I should get myself something to eat. Which one is that? Is that the gas station? <laughs> the gas station I couldn't go into. Finally, with some relief over finding a store, my my step grows lighter. That's when the lights ahead suddenly go out. <laughs> ah, fuck. And the sky turns Don't red. Don't tell me they're closed. What kind of convenience store isn't open 24-7 these days? <laughs> um, oh, and the sky's bleeding. <laughs> that's not good. No, that's not right. It's not just a convenience store. All street lights and lights in the houses have all gone out as well. 
And somehow the, the people that I saw inside the store have all vanished too. Even more strange, it didn't get pitch black out. Everything's illuminated in a hazy red light. Is this what fog? the hell? Something familiar about the side of this town suddenly falling silent. So to call it nostalgic, but it's just like that crazy thing that should have stopped three years ago. The dark hour. Talk about deja vu. First time I experienced the dark hour back then, I was in a convenience store. Akiga Senpai rescued me that time. Oh, there you are, Junpei. Oh. Fortune behind me makes me turn around, and I see a girl dressed in all, all in pink. Is that Yucatan? She's gotten into her. She's dressed rather hot, but there's no mistaking her voice. Oh, shit. It's fake, you. It's it's fake, Yukari. You get on a short, a short distance away from me and glares. She, she looks pissed. It's because I left that station after she told me to wait there? Uh, even then, she seems way too hey, angry. Hey, Yukatan! Uh, I'm making an effort at least, so. But hey, Mitsuru Senpai's gone missing? What's going on? <sighs> Damn, she's really pissed. <laughs> Stay, Junpei. Okay, when you're pitching to a real hard case, you need to throw outside the strike zone. Just test the waters. Throw them off their game and see how they react, right? Yeah, I'm a genius. <laughs> Got him also. So, uh, you look great, huh? Is that your, uh, feather pink outfit? Are you doing an autograph tour out here? Come meet the feather men. <laughs> <laughs> Try to throw my best curveball, but she still looks just as mad. You never shut up, do you? You're nothing but a minor character. <laughs> a mook, a minion, a loser. Just die and let the world have your body back? Hey, hey, what? Aren't you being crueler than usual? <laughs> uh, it's time for your punishment! Bring, Bring on, on the, the ring! ring. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> Yukatan suddenly raises one hand as she delivers the ch that cheesy line. With that, four red pillars fall from the sky and stab into the ground around us, forming a fighting arena. I don't know what's going on, but this suddenly feels really dangerous. I place my bag on the ground, then pull out my favorite bat and take cautious stance. Operatives. Look around, search for the source of that voice, and I see, and see a television dangling from a telephone pole. What? What is that? A round body, a doofy hat, a cape, and a cane. Is this some local station cartoon mascot that I don't know about? <laughs> He's saying something about a general Teddy, but what's this? What? That's his name? And why would a TV be hanging from a pole like that? <laughs> why would a TV be hanging from the sky like that? <laughs> Who the hell are you? I don't know what's going on, so you better explain yourself. If this is some prank show, it's not funny. You really are a yappy idiot. Now let's begin Operation World Destruct. I mean, the one-on-one P1 Climax. Yeah, that thing. I, I meant to say that thing. P1 Climax. I'm not in the mood to drag this out, so I'll just give a short rundown. The rules are simple. Win and you get to move on. Lose and you're stuck here. Huh? You mean I have to fight Yucatan? Oh, you really are a pain in the ass. If you're not going to do this, then hurry up and die. Here we go! Persona! Blah, I guess the wind blows and I recognize Yucatan's persona before me. Whoa, 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 whoa! Not only are we fighting, but we're gonna we're doing it with our personas? This doesn't make any sense. I don't even have my evoker with me. But when I look back at Yucatan, she's already got her bow drawn and pointed at me. Oh man, she's completely whoa, ready whoa, for this. Hold on, Feather Pink. We, we can talk this out. I mean, you shouldn't be pointing that at people. My <laughs> desperate plays in vain, and Yucatan shoots an arrow at me with no hesitation. I managed to dodge away just in time. I nice aim. I mean, wait. Stop moving around, Junpei. Just give up now and let me kill you. What the hell did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Looks like I just have to run. Well, avoiding the arrows running down on me, I start a mad dash towards the train station. Ow! What the heck? God dang it! How many times are I gonna die? That's what I said. Reach out to where I hit something, and sure enough, there's an invisible wall there. Just can't go beyond these red pillars. Does this mean that I'm seriously in trouble here? I hope you're prepared. Face me, evildoer. You're no match for better pink. Strike out better. Strike out better? What the hell does that mean? Did I get pr promoted from a generic bad guy to a villain out of the blue? Well, I guess I'll just have to fight a bit and pray that is enough to knock Yukiton back to her yeah. senses. Desperate times call for desperate measures. How dare you, feather man! I, Lord Junpei, will strike you down! <laughs> Go, Lord Junpei! Finally! Let's do it, Yukari. Let's see! Over here! 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 Over here
GP has like an interesting like system with like his with his like I don't know like as you can see like in the corner there he's got like a little he's got a little baseball plate down there a little message covering it but down in the center I'm not really I don't totally understand it but it's like as you get like runs I suppose you get new moves I think uh, oh fuck Ooh. No. Ow. Shit. Let's do this. Ah, fuck. Or not. Ah. Block. Ah. Oh. Oh, home run! How unfortunate. Better luck next time. The mook wins! Keep that up and keep winning! Who are you calling a mook? Wait, ah, you can tend! <laughs> oh my god, she turned to jello! Red pillar shatter, and you can tell suddenly starts melting away like a black piece of candy. Just then, what looks like old golden grains of sand fly up into the air and flow across the sky. My costume guy on the monitors disappeared. Disappear. Does that mean the invisible walls of Rantu are gone now, too? Maybe? Oh, what was that just now? It wasn't a dream, right? I, I slept a ton on the train, after all. I pitch myself and look around. Ow! <laughs> the lights are still out in the city, and there's no one else around. Is this really be the dark hour? The way that Yukiton disappeared seems familiar, too. Is that too. A, a shadow? Then, was that a fake Yucatan? The convenience store lights went out right around midnight, I think. Past midnight. It reminds me of the Dark Hour that was our battlefield that we fought within three, year, three years Is ago. Is this... Did the Dark Hour come back? At the stroke of midnight, the world seemingly stops in time, and, world, and the world becomes a place where only Persona-using people like us can move around. During that time, people disappear and shadows show up, insta show up instead. Normal people don't even know that this time exists. At the very least, the situation sure looks a lot like the but Dark Hour. wait a sec. How'd I use my persona without an evoker? He just now notices that. Those with potential like us are able to summon personas by resolving their out by resolving ourselves to death. But in order to acquire the trigger for such resolve, we usually use these things called evokers that are shaped like guns. But during that fight, I was able to summon my persona tries Megs Trismegistus Trismegistus by just by thinking about it in my head. It seems like it's more dangerous in the dark hour. If that's the case, then the, could the disappearance of Mr. Senpai and the rest be related to this phenomenon? Is that General Teddy guy behind this? We'd better step barefully. <laughs> <laughs> a costume dude told me to keep winning, but I don't know anything about this town. I'm staying around isn't going to do me any good, so I guess I should head back to the station for now. That's the, where the real Yucatan told me to wait. Let's see here. Which way was it? Start walking back the way I came, but something's obviously wrong. I mean, I don't think it took me this long to get from the station and to the to the store, and it might just be because of the fog. But the street poles and street streets look distorted. I'm amazed that it changes every time you look at it. That in itself reminds me of the past. Is that a girl who needs? Was that a girl who needs help? <laughs> Go, horny Junpei. <laughs> huh? I sense a disturbance in the pants. Go. Somebody might be getting attacked by something that's similar to monstrous Yucatan. I mean, that monster that looks like Yucatan. <laughs> if that really was a shadow, then there's no way I can ignore this. I'm shadow armed as legal weapon after all. And also, it's a girl who could date me. <laughs> oh my god. I look towards where I've heard the sound coming from, and I see a giant shopping center, like the one you find in the suburbs. It sounds as Junez. Go, Junpei. <laughs> it's oh, got my hey, name. I know that store. Every day's great. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that place from a moment. From a moment ago, but I'm positive that I heard the girl scream come from from there. She needs to rescue me to rescue. Hang on, I'm coming. Shadow <gasps> operative June Payori is on the scene. <laughs> I forced open the stuck automatic door with my hands and almost tripped over a number of things while running into the building. Aha! Catch you be so graceful. <laughs> Ooh! Am I, I'm playing as Margaret? And some other guy? 
Wait, am I actually, am I actually fighting as Margaret? Because that'd be fucking awesome. I don't think she has any... I don't think she had any story, though. Or I gotta actually fight as her. I don't know. Probably not. It's probably just, like, from her point of view or something. Sweet. There appears to be quite a commotion. Um, sister, I've been wondering since yesterday, but what is going on in the outside world? What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Who are you? We got a new guy? Dude, nice outfit. <laughs> oh my god, we actually have other guys in this room? I need to balance out the ratio between girls and guys here. I need to be an equal... Equal opportunities business. <laughs> what? Really? Wait. Another? So another sibling? I thought it was just Margaret and Elizabeth. So is this guy too? They've got a brother? Theodore. Theodore. Oh, I actually kind of recognize the outfit. That was one of the outfits we wore when we were in Persona 4 Golden. The, the guys wore. I thought it was just supposed to be like a... Well, we don't really know what to give you because it's... A, <laughs> for a blue velvet room style but I guess yeah we had the hats too didn't we so I guess we were so wait 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 which came first again does this guy's does this guy show up in something I, 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 I don't know I'm confused he's got to show up in something before Persona 4 Golden then so okay I'm sorry you guys should probably explain it to me I I don't know but cool I guess neat <laughs> I believe you could say that those kids' ordeal is still continuing. An ordeal, you say? Yes. In other words, mankind's potential is being tested. It's a talented family. They got a big family. Potential? Sister, where might Elizabeth be right now? Not digging around somewhere? Abandoning the duties given to us by our master, and going out into the outside world is normally forbidden to us. I wonder why, is, is the, there's probably some reason why, right, that this family, I mean, not just now, not just Margaret or Elizabeth, but this guy, that have been picked to be, you know, like, like what are they? Like, ah, oh, so much I just don't understand. <laughs> why did Elizabeth go through all that just to head out into the outside world? <sighs> I'm sorry. It was presumptuous of me to ask. I suddenly feel thirsty. Do you feel like drinking a cola? A... a cola, you say? The fuck is that? My... don't tell me that you don't know what that is. Uh, of course I do. Elizabeth told me about it. An ebon monster compressed into a metal <laughs> cylinder, waiting for the moment its prison is released to spring into the eyes of the unwary spewing foam. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's... <laughs> that's just too the fucking funny. It's just like, okay, so he seems kind of clueless too. Seems like Margaret out of the, the group is definitely the uh, the sharpest tool. Well, I knows more about the real world, I suppose. Uh, quite. <laughs> well then, I task you with the acquisition of about a hundred of these colas. <laughs> you want m me to do this? B but cola only exists in the outside world. I merely ask for the cola. How and where you perform your task is at your discretion. Even if it takes you into the outside world. <sighs> Um, sister. Yes, what is it? While I'm out, may I go see what's going on outside? That would be none of my business. All I asked you to do is go on an errand for me. Shouldn't you hurry? Our master will be returning soon. I'm taking a pee. Yes, I'll go at once. <laughs> I guess it can't be helped that he's drawn to the outside world right now. This current aberrance in the outside world is centered on that red-haired guest, and Persona users have gathered to it, as if caught up in that fate. Even my heart races just thinking about it. It's troublesome having siblings so brimming with curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if she, maybe she's the older, uh, maybe the oldest sibling then. She sort of seems like the older, wiser one. Oh, that was fast. Ah, oh, I would I want to fight as Margaret. I mean, she's a fighting character, so unforgivable insult and wavering heart. Oh, and more Junpei. Fuck up, fuck up shit. Who to protect? 
Who to kill? Um, let's go with Yukari. I think it's still and feels like I'm left behind in the floor. Like I of time. thought, there's something wrong with the entire town. This is just like the dark hour. The dark hour. Leaving the fog aside, this town situation seems very similar to back then. There's a small pang in my heart when I think back on some long forgotten sensations. And that sexy blue haired bastard. But I don't feel anxious. Just like back then, I'm going to save the people who are close to anyway, me. Anyway, I've got to meet up with Junpei so we can look for Mitsuru Senpai and the others. I'm going to save the people close to me, except for that one guy. It's easy enough to say, but the entire town has become something like a maze. I'm having trouble getting closer to the station. Since I left the others at Junez, I walk, I've walked for quite a distance. Oh, I wonder if everyone's okay. I'm worried about Kikuno-san, too. If only Fuka was here. Yeah, what the Fuka? Where is she? So now the hell I got faded away quickly after it left. The town's oddly quiet. I'm actually glad there aren't any people around, though. So I don't have any time to change them. Still in my feathered pink costume. It didn't bother me much when I was in the helicopter, but... Just imagining walking around town like this where other people might see me would be embarrassing beyond belief. That's quite a bizarre look you have there, Yukari. <laughs> <laughs> Mitsuru Senpai? I see familiar silhouette through the fog. Wait, what? Why is she dressed like a villain for my sh for my show? I mean, I know that she's never been all that interested in fashion, but in any case, I'm relieved to see her. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Are Fuka and Akihiko Senpai with you too? Where's I guess? <laughs> Who knows? Most likely disgracing herself in some unsightly way somewhere. She's capable of getting herself killed on her own. Huh? Mitsuru Senpai? Don't you think so? You came to this place to do battle to begin with. Isn't that so, Yukari Takeda? Something's not right. I recall something from the files of a previous P1 Grand Prix. When two people will meet, their words would be twisted, arranging them until a fight ensued. Is that what's happening Mitsuru here? Mitsuru Senpai, are you all right? Are you really hearing what I'm saying? Ah, oh, forgive me. We're both under the same circumstances, so let's get along. We were both released from those foolish restraints of our fathers, after all. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. That repulsive laugh caused something to snap within me. Dad! I don't care if this is a trap or not before I realize I'm shouting back at Mr. Senpai. Don't play games with me. You oh, promised me that we'd fulfill our dad's wishes. That we'd have them watch over us as we work together. Damn right. Uh, Hold it right there. Please stop fighting over me. Huh? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Teddy, what are you doing? Oh! My horniness never fails me. My penis points in the direction of pop babes. Round, a strange round object bounds between us. Uh, is this somebody in a costume? Wait, I remember seeing this in the files. Like Kuno sound and prepare for us. It's a persona user from Inaba. I think the person wearing it was named Teddy. Wait, it's talking. I was drawn to the smell of beauties, but here's a couple that are dressed kind of Oh, skin type bodysuit though. Oh, doesn't leave much to the imagination, and I like it. Uh, yeah, okay, I might not be dressed very sensibly right now, but you're the one wearing a full body animal suit. But this isn't Mitchon. It's a complete fake trying to mimic Mitchon's beautiful body. <laughs> Mitchon? You mean Mitsuru Senpai? Hold on a sec. A fake? That's right! This Mitchon is made of shadows and pull! Uh, pull? So Mitsuru Senpai kicks Teddy square in the face and the suit goes flying with tremendous force and rolls the edge of the street. He's like a little cartoon character, I swear. He doesn't move a muscle from there. I wonder if he's still alive. <laughs> he's dead. This may be fake, Mr. Senpai, but it looks exactly like the real thing. She raised her hand. Four red posts fall down from the sky and slam into the ground surrounding us. This I noticed that Mitsuru Senpai's eyes are shining in a burning golden are color. Are you really a fake Mitsuru Senpai? Yes. yes. I, I didn't, didn't intend to that fact from Ah, Mitsuru. Recreated from exact knowledge of Mitsuru Senpai's What? You took Mitsuru Senpai's form and mocked my dad! I will not forgive this! I'm gonna shit all over you! I'm in a simple fit of rage. But now I'm gonna swim to the dark hour. Tara looks like Tartarus. Anything could happen and now. It wouldn't surprise me. For this thing take on the form of my best friend to do what it did, it's absolutely a shadow, right? I won't show you any mercy. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna show you guys Yukari is fast as fuck. Finally! Watch this. Ah. 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 
I don't know, actually, maybe she's not quite as fast as Junpei was. Alright, uh, yes. Let's do, uh, powerful arrow shot. Okay, facing the... Wait, which way is... Yes. <laughs> yeah! Suck it! Shut up, teddy bear! Ah. Shut up, teddy bear! Ah, block your shit! Ow, ow, frozen, ow, pain! Oh, got him! My control's been reversed! Stop it! Oh my god! Okay, that's it. Fuck you. Oh, wait. Wait. Final feather. Shoots an arrow at the end opponent's location. I'll make it feed the opponent. Let's see if we can do it. And. No, 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 no. No. No! Damn it. Or not. I want to do the move. We haven't seen your cars move yet. Finally! Okay. Hit her. No, oh, she blocked it. You dirty whore. No. Oh God. Boom! Kick to the face. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Ah, hockey. Holy crap, I was high in the air there. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out of the ice. Shoot the arrows at her. Stay back. Oh, damn it. I was trying to kill her from a distance. That's so good. Oh, you suck at this! <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Teddy. Finally. <laughs> okay, okay. This time I'm gonna fucking get it. Unless she blocks it again. Don't block it. Yes! I guess I got it. It kinda went off screen there. Going for the kill! Ah! Uh, they're paying power! Hell yeah. Blah. Oh. The moment my, my, vic my victory was decided, I hear something shatter. The red post began to crumble, and the creature that had taken on some Misuri Senpai's form begins to Yikes! Gross! Oh, but she really was a shadow. I can't help but wonder at the bizarre sight. That's when Teddy comes rushing over. So this is making a strange squeaky sound. <laughs> Thank goodness, looks like he hasn't been hurt too badly. Are you okay? Are you hurt at all? Nah, but thanks. I'm just a bit ashamed of myself. I knew that was a trap, but I couldn't keep myself from getting worked up. And that wasn't even the real Mitsudu, but a shadow. It's not even funny. When the topic of my dad came up, I lost my cool. That I already sorted out my feelings about him, don't too. don't feel bad. I mean, I have a keen nose, but I have to get up close and personal to sniff out the difference. Oh, you get it? You get it? I'm all about the puns, baby! And with that, Teddy turns his face to me and his nose twitches. Huh? That must be a very elaborate costume. Or maybe it's not a costume at all. In either case, it seems that Teddy's character has a search ability like Fuka's persona. Really? Well, thanks. I survived thanks to you. One must be kind to the ladies! That's the family motto of the Teddy clan! <laughs> Which consists of me! I, uh... and my penis. If you say so, but you're a Persona user from this town, right? I'm Yukari Takiba, a member of the Shadow Operatives. Does that mean anything to you? Oh, you must be a friend of Michan then, Yuka-chan. So, are those clothes a uniform or something? <laughs> Yuka-chan, huh? Actually, there's a good reason why I'm dressed like this. I like how Teddy just like, the moment he meets you, he automatically like, just gives you a nickname. <laughs> I can sense at least two reasons right around here. <laughs> oh! Hey, what do you? Hey, feather smash! Oh! oh! How cruel! I was just saying hello. <laughs> feather squirrel punch! Oh! <laughs> Ooh, no wonder you're a hero.
hero of Justice Featherman victory? Even the cold female boss Michon didn't stand a chance against you! Hear a voice and turn around and discover that TV has somehow appeared behind us without either of us noticing. General Teddy's on the screen like he had been while I was in the helicopter. The more I look at him, the more he looks just like Teddy standing next to me. They're different people, right? It might even be a fake, just like the copy of Mr. Senpai that I just bought to. <laughs> You imposter, stop hiding and show yourself! <laughs> why, does, why does he like dressing up like Teddy so much, you know? Because <laughs> Teddy's just fucking goofy as hell! All you did was roll on the ground, but you've got quite a cheeky mouth. But whatever, the real Michon's execution show is gonna start soon, you know? E execution? <laughs> you can't miss this event. The execution queen is going to be executed herself. If you don't want that to happen, Stop dallying around like this and hurry to the tower where I am, Yuka-chan! Hey, hold it right there! Give Michon and the others back! I don't care! Just like the bad General Teddy disappears from the screen. Seriously, Senpai is going to be executed? I put a step to it. I'm gonna find, I really want to find Junpei, but I have to, I have to leave him for later. Oh no, we have to hurry and save her! Teddy, didn't you say that you have a keen nose? Uh, yep. You want me to find Michon with my nose, right? Uh, well, I can't stop sneezing in this red fog, though. Oh, so that's why you were sneezing when you got here. So, um, it would be helpful if you could search for her. I'm going to go towards the big pointy stick in the sky. Mm, I'll do it. If Michon's in trouble, I can't rest until she's safe. Thanks. Having you come along is really reassuring. Wowza Bo Bowza! I've been recognized for my skills! <laughs> I, Teddy, swear to be your knight from this moment forth! I think I just kind of do that for any hot girl I meet. <laughs> I don't care if Labrys is a robot. I'm still hitting on that! <laughs> Teddy, sal salute. Teddy salutes grandly in the middle of his speech, then sneezes loudly. Now, I heard that Persona uses of anybody had different personalities, but it's true that he it can be kind of fun. <laughs> well, then. Shall we get going, Sir Knight? You can tell me more about your friends, too. Ne but the next time you try something funny, I'll blast you with a hyper feather shot. Got it? Ah, you're so cruel, Yuka chan! I like it! <laughs> I like being smacked around! So I'd head towards that Tartarus like structure with Teddy. And we immediately begin dashing, dashing in that direction. Sorry, Junpei, you'll have to wait wait just a little bit longer. Do we continue? Alright, let's continue with Junpei. I feel like Dash and Juno has a rush up the first set of stairs Man, I can find. there's something about being in an empty department store that just makes me want to run around. <laughs> okay, that's a stupid thing to say, even for me. Anyways, I say that, I hear another scream. All right, I need to rescue whoever this is first. I see what appears to be a rooftop on the other side of the doorway and slam the door open. Bia! SWAT team kick. You can see the banners for things like Taki Takiyaki and Yako Soba set up in an open space. Oh, so this is what shopping centers in this countryside are like. You know, I've heard of Takiyaki. It's like a little fish, right? Or like, is it actually fish or like a candy or something? But it's like it's like a little thing shaped like a fish. Like, what what is it? What's in it? I've always kind of wondered that. It's like, is it actually fish? <laughs> I, thought it might be, I think it might be a piece of, like, a type of candy. Maybe. There are two girls standing in the central area, and they both turn to look at me. My god, my gal entry have caught the attention of both of them? One of them is a dark-haired girl holding a fan-like weapon, and the other, uh, huh? I think I've seen her huh? before. What, what the? Oh. That voice, that face, that voice. <gasps> Could it be? Holy, whoa. <laughs> Reset? The real reset? Seriously? Oh my god, finally! All my wet dreams have finally come true! And who are you? She tilts her head cutely and looks at me with eyes brimming with tears. Whoa, it's really is reset! I have her DVDs! What should I do? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm elated for my unexpected good luck and I rush between the two girls, reflexively shielding reset. <laughs> Fuck this other girl! I'm the guy who's gonna save you! But don't you fear, now I'm here! <laughs> it's probably Yukiko that needs saving here. Uh, oh, yeah, pulled it off, but that definitely won reset over. And you are? After what you've done to the town and how you've been protecting a fake, you must be the culprit. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yep. What now? What does she mean, culprit? I'm Jupiter Yorin, and I protect justice more than anything else. Like dumb? 
You did such horrible things to Labrys, and now you've gotten Matsuro-san and the others. Put this town back to normal, at once! <laughs> Wait, who? Wait, huh? Wait, isn't that the name of Agus' sister Yukata mentioned? Wait, she mentioned Rasuru senpai too? Crap, I think this girl's really misunderstanding Wait, me. misunderstanding. Something's not right here. We need to talk this over. I should try to explain myself, but somebody weakly tugs my sleeve. <laughs> I turn around, get up, up close and personal view of the real reset. Oh my god, she's cute. <laughs> Please, won't you help me? That scary girl is picking on me. She's so mean. I'll do things to you. Mm. <laughs> I don't care if you're fake. Huh? Uh, okay, she looks scary, but she doesn't look like a bad person. Actually, she's kind of cute. If you yeah. won't come, then I'll make the first move. Go Konohana Sakia! Ah! Ah, uh, Persona? That shit appeared when the dark-haired girl called out was definitely a Persona. She a Persona user too? Persona. That's the case. Ah! Persona, uh, Jimmy's Persona's kinda cool looking. It's like a knight. The uh, girl's Persona comes flying toward me, wreathed in flames, and clashes with my own Persona with a sound like glass just smashing the glass. Two Personas locked against each other in combat. The dark-haired girl seems surprised at my ability to summon a Persona Like I was too. saying, can you wait a sec? Why are you doing this? Violence isn't the answer, you know. Don't Thanks, waste Jupe. your breath. I will protect my friends and my town. No, I will protect my friends in this town. I'm gonna... On closer inspection, the darker girl's eyes are dead serious. I guess there's a powerful determination to the power of her persona, but I can't pull her back any longer. This isn't good. She's too strong. Oh, sweet. <gasps> sweet reset. Whoa. Uh, what a pain. What are you, stupid or something? The darker girl gets blasted across the area with a. With a scream, I turn back and surprise to see another long haired persona. What? Well, this is totally unexpected for turn of events. Persona's a persona too? That persona made that attack just How now? How long are you gonna keep up this stupid charade? Cheap sob stories don't bring in the ratings these days. What use are friends anyway? What? <laughs> what? You're nothing like what I masturbated to? <laughs> Surprised hearing words like that coming out of this keep pop idol. What's wrong, Reset? It's not true. I try harder because of my friends. They make me stronger. They give me people to live up to and people to protect. And if you deny that strength, then I cannot lose against you. Mm, yep, I can understand that feeling. She's right. Ah, oh, crap. Does this mean I jumped into this thing and immediately took the wrong side? You make me sick. Hey, aren't you supposed to be on my side? Hurry up and deal with her. Well, you just try to murder us both. Uh, um... <laughs> Yikes, was this face seems scarier than anything I've seen Yucatan pull off. The thing is, she's this kind of girl and she looks so cute. Parents can be deceiving, huh? No. But I feel like my world's been, my world's been crushed. I can recall you could tell want, want to be I met earlier. I couldn't tell if she was real or fake at the first either. This be a fake reset too. Dang, there's no way to tell. Hey, All right. Say something, you baseball freak. Sorry. Huh? I can't do anything on my own. And people have been helping me all the time until now too. But because I can't do anything by myself, I want to stay strong for someone else. That's why. Even if you're the real Rosette, I can't side with you. You know, it's funny, actually, now I think about it, in, in episode P4, we never actually fought Risei's shadow in that version. It's kind of bizarre, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I said it. That was something I learned from back with, back then that I've been telling you kids. Well, that doesn't mean that everything you get, you do get result. Res er, yeah. That doesn't mean that everything you do gets results, though. Even then, I'm only stating here right now because of the support of everyone else. What's with these cheap cliches? Take a look in the mirror before you say stuff like that. Oh well, I guess it's fine. It would have been more fun if the two of you actually went at it. <laughs> ah. I'll invite you both to my last concert before the world ends. Now, bring on the ring! No, oh, God, now it's evil, horny, horny Rise. Face of the teen idol I know so well distorts and her eyes change into a color change color into an eerie gold. Reset, reset raises a hand. Four red pillars crash down from the sky, then the fog is slammed into the four corners of the food court. Oh, where can I this? Looks like um, I was right. You're not the culprit? I'm Junpei Yori, the nuclear warhead of the Shadow Operative Missile. I'm sorry I doubted you. The Shadow Operatives? You mean Mitsuru-san? Yep, that's right. Can you stand back a little? It hardly counts as an apology, but I'll take care of this for you. Finally! Alright, let's do it. <laughs> ah! Ah! Don't, de don't defend against my attacks! 
No, 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 Yes, I know. You can go. Uh, smack it. Oh, uh, I missed. Oh, yeah, home run. Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god! Make the pain stop! Okay, super vulnerable bat. Here we go. Ah oh, fuck! You gotta. Yeah, yep. Damn it! Oh well, like I killed her. I mean, <laughs> but he's trying to do that super move. A lot of his moves are like you have to time it perfectly. Holy crap. Man, that was tough. Reset's it's crazy. Stylish victory, of course, even though my ears are still ringing. When the repellers shatter, the thick reset crumbles and then melts. Yeah! That's going into my personal nightmare fuel follower for a while. <laughs> Maybe I can use this as a new store for Junpei's Believe It or Don't. <laughs> Thank you, Junpei-san. I'm Yukiko Wamagi. Yukiko-san, huh? Are you a high schooler from around here? Uh, can I ask you something? Huh? Are you hitting on me? What? <laughs> Come on, really? I, I just want to know what's going on in this town. I'm sorry. I, I get caught up with weird people too often. <laughs> I mean, you've got a beard and a baseball bat. <laughs> you look like a pedophile. <laughs> Shut up! Come on, you're treating me more like a criminal suspect than a dude who's hitting on you. I'm not a bad guy, okay? What if I rock around in a baseball outfit all the time? But I can see how you get caught up in situations like that. I mean, you are cute. When it happens, use the Junpei style stranger danger technique. <laughs> Basically, you take you take the palm of your hand, you stamp, yeah, you, you slap him right in the jugular. <laughs> Kills him real good. Junpei style? Oh, is that like Hanayagi style? Uh, something like that. I teach kids baseball, and I also teach them basic self-defense from suspicious people. Carry your baseball bat everywhere you go. <laughs> if you meet a weird person, just take your baseball out and beat them. Stranger danger technique number one. First, you have to yell really loud. Always start by yelling for help. Huh, okay. <laughs> what? Like that? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was pretty promising. Huh? She just kicks him right in the nuts. Yukiko-senpai, get away from him! Himiko! No! <laughs> Now, Risa is staying near the entrance to the food court, even though Risa... She disappeared only a moment ago. Could this be the real one this time? She has a persona out, and I feel like she's just as menacing as the fake... As the fake from before. <laughs> no, you could go. No, you said it the worst possible time. Get away from her, you perv! I didn't do anything! Holy crap, that was close. This is a misunderstanding, Risa. A misunderstanding. <laughs> why, why does this always happen to me? <laughs> just that luck isn't on my side today. Like, it's actively working against me. Then again, this is like, this is like my life every day. I call a perp by my favorite teen idol, and when I learn she has a persona, she hits me with it. Hold on, Risei chan He has a beard, but he's not a creep. <laughs> huh? But only creeps have beards. Only creeps have beards. <laughs> oh, that was just ending there. Risei finally stops attacking when she hears you kill call out. I definitely explained what I've been through up till now. Wow, this really this is really is reset. The real reset. Maybe it looks actually on my side after all. I I'm so sorry. I thought Yukiko Senpai was screaming because she was being assaulted. But I'm glad you're okay. I figured that if I came to the food court, there'd be someone else here. I'm glad you're okay too, Yusei chan And it looks like you can use your persona to fight now? That's amazing! It's true that Risei's Rosette's persona was impressive. That's add that in with her calling me a perv, and I feel like this experience is, gonna, is going to traumatize me. So, this is Junpei Iori. He's supposedly a nuclear landmine for the Shadow Operatives. A <laughs> nuclear oh, landmine. So you're one of Mitsuru-san's team. I'm Risei Kujikawa. It's nice to meet you. You too. Just call me Junpei. And that's supposed to be nuclear warhead, okay? 
Maybe your landmass is like huge weakness, doesn't it? <laughs> That's not what I want to be known, you know, Nez. Again, neither one of those two seem to have much interest in me, do they? So, um, why are you here, Junpei-san? Are you on duty? Well, I, uh, kind of overslept. And then I found out that Mitsuru-senpai and the others are missing. This town's been turned into this... Huh? Mitsuru-san and the others are missing? Are they okay? Well, the Midnight Channel came on again, and General Teddy said there'd be another tournament. It seems that's where they're being held. Huh? What's the Midnight Channel? It sounds kind of like an adult-rated cable show. <laughs> that's true. We've already been captured? We've got to hurry and save them! Hold on, I'll try searching for them. He's like, I've been missing out! Oh, uh, but I think I know where they are. They're probably over where our school is on the hill. That big thing. I don't know why that's not the first thing that goes in there, like, they're probably all over there, that big impending tower. When my question gets completely ignored, I look in the direction you can some points and see a long, thin shadow, like a pole stuck in the, the ground. Could that be? Also, I've seen this town so far, the dark hour shadows, of course the next would be. Huh? I'm at a loss for words. I mean, it's not too hard to imagine that the tower should be, show up somewhere, especially with the way things are at the moment. <laughs> why is it always at a school? <laughs> If that's the case, then I bet a million yen that Yucatan and the others are going to be headed there. Well, if I went there too, I might be able to meet up with everyone. Junpei-san, is anybody else from the Shadow Operatives here too? Huh? Oh yeah, I, I think so. Maybe? I don't really listen to her, so my automatic answer probably isn't what she wants to hear. A sudden silence snaps me out of my thoughts and I see the two girls staring at me, frowning. Are you really a member of the Shadow Operatives? You seem fishy. Maybe he's a fake after all. No, 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 I'm, I'm real. But look, all of us have a badge, like this. Huh. Yeah, apparently explain my situation and the badge I carry with me. Even though I managed to get them to believe me, a little, a little shame that I don't have much information to give them. I can't be helped, but wait. So we can clue the re reset will search the surrounding area of the persona. But isn't it inevitable that I wouldn't know much about what's going on? Again, it is kind of my fault that I fell asleep on the train. Well, give me a sec. Kimiko, search mode. Aww. Netflix mode. She says Persona takes on a dramatically different form. She closes her eyes and concentrates, so it's pretty obvious that she started searching the area. That's amazing. She has a Persona that can both search and I have fight. four readings heading towards Yasugami High and that tower. I think one of them is Labrys. I don't know about the other three. Huh? Labrys is here too? Mm-hmm. I can't communicate with her because the interference is so bad. But I'm pretty sure. Those other readings aren't shadows, right? They feel like Persona users. One of them is strangely small, though. Uh, it's probably Koromaru. He's a dog. A dog? Ne a dog can use a persona? How? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> he just can. <laughs> we don't know either. He just does it. <laughs> Junpei-san, you seem... pretty vague. About everything. <laughs> I feel like they're being really harsh without any hesitation. Three readings that re Three readings that Reset doesn't know. One of them's Koromaru, the one that's next to him. Who it must be Ken. The last one should be Yukon. I tell the two girls about the others. So Reza can continue searching. Oh, there's someone near here. Naoto kun. And Kanji? Kanji's reading is pretty weak, though. He might be injured. You can't communicate with them, right? If they're close, then should we go directly there to help them out? Yeah, but then we're putting a hold on rescuing Mitsuru san and her team, aren't we? Right. So you two should hurry to where this Kanji kun is. I'll keep heading to that tower. Based on what you said before, it sounds like my comrades are going that way after all. Okay. Oh, but... Oh, right. That would leave you two girls alone. Do you want me to go with you? I mean, if you really want me, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm suggesting that the two girls might want me around, just in case. Well, just in case. I know that they're... I know that they're both looking at me with blank, blank expressions. Oh, what's going on? Is this something weird? Junpei-san, are you going to be okay on your own? Are you sure you won't get lost? The town's turned into something like a maze. Oh, that. Maybe they're the ones worried about me. I wonder how, low opinion I wonder how low their opinion of me is right now. <laughs> I'll be fine. Maybe I don't look it, but I've got experience with stuff like this. I'm not a total fuck up, really? Somebody believe me? Please believe me. Oh, okay. We'll go meet up with the others before heading to that tower. Please be careful, Junpei-san. That two girls easily leave the food court. They didn't freak out over this bizarre situation at all. Man, high school girls these days sure are tough. Pull myself together and made rushing towards the, tar the Tartarus like tower. Ever since I became a shadow opera, this is the first time I've encountered a normal situation like this. Basically, the last time something like this happened to me was three years ago. While I'm running, while I'm running, I think back on what happened back then, and I, I remember him. Don't worry about me, man. I got this. 
I remember him, that guy who didn't have a name. <laughs> or he had like a hundred, or had like a million different names. You know, they, they actually gave him like an official quote unquote name. I'm surprised maybe they're not referring to him as that in this, you know, like, it's what, like, Minato, whatever. Junbei's misfortune. Alright, guys, well, a little over an hour, but I th think I'm gonna end it here for now. Um, anyway, like for if you enjoy, subscribe now, become Picky Penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Uh, let me know, are you guys still enjoying this series? I know it hasn't been as popular as, like, other series, like, you know, as Danganronpa 2, um... I kind of expected that, honestly. I, I know Don Rupp 2 is a huge fandom, but I mean, are you guys still enjoying this? I, you know, I kind of want to, want to, you know, I want to know if you guys aren't getting like totally bored of this. But uh, uh, anyway, let me know. Um, but anyway, till next time, guys. Stay classy.